what Excel book is. So whatever active workbook I'm in, I'm going to set that to my workbook called Excel book. So that's and then I'm also going to go point at the sheet. Now I came in here and I just named this tab sales by country. It's nothing sacred about that. When I first started doing this, I just called it I left it at sheet 1. And then, you know, later on I decided, well, I'll just make that just a little bit more descriptive. And so that's what I've done here. So once we're at the book and we've made our active workbook, what we're working in, then we're going to set the sheet to actually go grab the worksheet called sales by country. And then we'll know what book we're in. We'll know what sheet we're in when we're pasting stuff back in where that stuff is supposed to go. Then also what this does is it takes the sheet that we're working with it takes the range and it selects a big chunk of range and it just clears it so so now that we've got our sort of setup stuff done then now it's time to call our call our database so remember that's where our database is we gave it a name so what we're doing is we're saying open the database and then we're pointing at our database where that database is and we're setting that to the DB. We're setting that to the database method or database uh, object. Okay. Now here we're bringing SQL, the SQL in. And what I did is instead of having SQL equals and a great big long statement that goes right off the end of the page, I just chunked it onto different lines so it's easier for you to see. So you don't have to scroll clear out here to see it. So what I did on this first line is I remember this is our SQL variable that we defined as a string up here. So I'm putting in in quotes the first part of that SQL statement. And then I put a space at the end. So this is a space, blank space. All right. And then so that's going to be what's in this line. And then I'm going to say, OK, add to that the next part. So this little ampersand here is adding on the next part. So we're going to take the string that just had this in it and then we'll attach onto it. We're going to add or append onto that this next line. And we just keep doing that where we take as as we go down here as this gets changed then it gets moved down to here and then uh, each time we're just appending on. So when we're done here when we get down to SQL the SQL variable at the end is going to have all of this stuff in it. It's going to have all of the query in it, which will be one great big long string that has everything from the select, the from, the where, the group by, and so forth. It's all going to be in one long string. Uh, but when we're working on the script, this just makes it a little bit less obnoxious to work with by just, you know, letting it build in pieces. So that's really all this is. So I just took the script that I had debugged in Microsoft Access and just chunked it up uh, to make it easy to just build in pieces. All right, so once we've got our SQL all ready to go, so now our SQL variable has all of our SQL in it, then we're ready to get down to business and actually go grab it out of the database. So remember, our data access object has given, been given a database, and what we're going to do is we're going to open the record set. So uh, that's the method on that, and then we're going to send in our SQL string, which is all of this stuff, and then we're going to say take a snapshot. So what this method or what this little uh, piece does right here, it says just take a pic, just take a snapshot of the data at the current uh, current point in time, and that's what we want to get brought into our record set. So remember up here, we defined our record set as a data access object record set. So now we're going to use our SQL. We're going to go in and we're going to take a snapshot of that and we're going to load that into the record set object. All right. Now, there are other things you can do. If you don't want to bring in using SQL, there are a couple of other things you could do. If you had a query in Microsoft Access, let's go back and look at that. Since I had defined a query and given it a name, invoice totals by country or whatever, these are queries that I've saved and given names. If you have got this working, you can just call the query by name if you want to do that instead of putting all your SQL. So what will happen is you call it by name and then it would go in here and it would execute the SQL, get the results and then hand it back to VBA. So that's one thing you can do. Another thing you can do is you can actually just call up a table. 
And that's not good enough for what we're trying to do because we have to join across primary and foreign keys here to be able to get the information that we're looking for. But if we just wanted information out of one table, like just information on an invoice, then you can also hand that in. So let's go look at that now. So I've just given you these alternatives. So here's us using our SQL. Here's using a named query. And I've just made some notations over here. And then if I just wanted to bring something like album or invoice or whatever in here into it, I can just do that and it'll just bring in the entire table. So this open record set is really, really flexible. You can either get a SQL query or you can give it some of these other things that you want it to be able to use to go pull that data out of Microsoft Access. 